Uh, hey beauties, so today I want to do, I don't know, a, a summary light, I want to capture like the essence of a unicorn and then I want to wear it, but I don't want to look insane. So let's just see if this works. So okay, um, so I'm moisturized and primed so I'm just going to go in, I've been doing um, kind of the same skin routine. Uh, so I wasn't sure if you guys really um, wanted me to do like full face makeup every time or if you want me to just kind of like speed through it um, since it's kind of staying the same uh, it'll switch up when the weather gets cooler but I'm probably gonna wear the same type of uh, look from now till when it gets cooler um, so just let me know down in the comments below how you feel about that uh, so I'm just going in with the BB Flawless in Bisque um, this is nice and hydrating and gives a light coverage. Okay, so now I'm doing organza to cover up because I still have quite a few blemishes on my face. I don't know why. Um, I'm just kind of dabbing this on all the red parts of my skin. Um, which is like my entire face. Does anyone else have like a hair ADD like me where you just like literally just like can't leave it alone? Like you have to do something to it. I feel like I probably should have been a hairdresser, maybe, you know? Because I feel like they would probably get to do stuff like this more. Or at least it would be like related to their job as opposed to me who just like, I don't know does it in my spare time, not professionally. I have no idea what I'm actually doing, ever. So then I'm gonna put Scarlet to brighten up under my eyes. So yeah, let me know down below if you want me to do like full face skin and everything every time. If you want me to kind of like fast forward through it. Um, or if you want me to just skip it and just do that like once a month and then every other time just go like straight into like the rest, like eyes, lips, bronzer, blush, all that. Okay, so I'm gonna set it with my uh, Touch Powder Foundation in Organza. I'm just gonna put this <laughs> wherever I put concealer, which is pretty much everywhere. I feel like I've kind of been trying to simplify my brow routine. Um, so uh, I do a couple different things that just kind of varies, you know, moment to moment, honestly. But uh, lately I've been just doing the uh, brow liner in medium. Uh, so it's kind of like, I think it's a good match for my roots. So for my natural hair color. Um, it's not particularly warm or cool. It's kind of quite neutral and I just use this to really just Fill in my brows. I'm just sort of filling it in and darkening it um, Also, you'll notice when I do my foundation I tend to kind of go over my brows if you have thick brows I wouldn't do that, but if you're like me and you have really sparse brows It doesn't really matter if you end up putting foundation over your brows you know, because if you don't have that much hair in there anyway, and you're going to go over it and do it, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if you have, like, really thick brows, I would definitely avoid it. But I just kind of noticed that's something I do. And this is also nice because the other end is a spoolie. So you can just kind of brush it through and soften it a bit and just kind of see where you might need to add additional product. So uh, because I think I'm going to be using pigments, because I'm feeling a like unicorn type of vibe, I'm going to do Victorious, um, the matte splurge, as my eye primer. So this just kind of gets rid of any of the like redness or the veins that you can see through, and it's a really good base. I'm going to use the powder concealer brush, I'm going to use the concealer side, and I'm going to use Unfazed Splurge, which is like a taupey gray, and I'm going to put that in my crease. And just really buff that out. That's going to be my transition shade, give a little bit of definition in the crease. Um, and it's, you know, kind of like gray, taupey. Uh, so it's kind of 
like a nice wash of a neutral color. Okay, so to sort of increase the intensity, I'm going in with my finger, and as usual, I like the most pigment. Sort of in the center, not really on the outer edge, just because it tends to sort of drag the, the line of my eyes down, and I really don't want to do that. I just kind of want to deepen the look of a crease. Um, and then I'm also going to put this, but not a lot, on the lower lash line. Just like a little lighter. So it's quite light, but it just gives a little bit of definition. And I can put uh, pigments on top of this as well. As far as like colored pigments go, I really like um, Feisty. So these are three shimmers. Feisty, Playful, and Flirty. So I feel like those are a really great color mix to put on. Let's start with Flirty. I'm just gonna use my finger, so some flirty on the inner portion of my lid. I'm gonna put some playful in sort of the center area. And then feisty on the outer edge. And again, just kind of creating like a nice blend of them. Playful and feisty really blend. Okay, and then I'm gonna do feisty on the lower lash line, at least towards the outer edge. It's kind of like a shimmery gray. I know I keep using my fingers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, and then for the inner corner, um, I know I have flirty, but I'm gonna put a little bit of angelic, uh, which is like a highlight. used. So feisty, angelic, flirty, playful. Um, that is definitely, I don't know, it looks very unicorny to me. Um, okay, so for my skin, I have left it, doesn't take much uh, to leave it quite pale, um, but let's do a little bit of definition. So I'm taking my sculpting trio in light. So just sort of embracing my paleness today. Um, so I'm using this in the place of bronzer. And I'm gonna just contour my forehead and my cheekbones with this. Uh, as well as my jawline. And then I'll do like brow down to nose very lightly just to give a little bit of contour to that area. For blush, I actually think I'm gonna take Affluent, which is like a mauve lipstick. And I'm just gonna sort of dab that and blend that. Um, Cause I want something that's cool toned. I also want something that has like a creamy texture. Cause I feel like that's very like summery. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do highlight, but I'm actually just gonna use angelic, uh, the pigment, and then I'll use the fan brush. And I'm gonna put this on the top of my, ooh, whoa. Okay, I actually might have to turn that down a little bit because I did not anticipate that it was going to be that bright. Definite unicorn vibes though. Okay, so then I'll use my finger to do my Cupid's bow. And I'll do like tip of my nose. 
Some of my favorite eye pencils and lip pencils are getting so small that I have to like really dig for them. Okay, so I'm gonna do Prim, which is a light brown. Okay, so I'm doing upper lash line and then just sort of the outer edge of the lower lash line. We're gonna go in with mascara, as many coats as you'd like. Hey right, guys, uh, so for lips, I'm going to outline in plush. Oh, and fill in a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the pigment Vulnerable, which is a matte and it's a nice light pink, and then Sassy, which is a shimmery pink. So I'm gonna just sort of mix these and put them on my lips. All right, so this is the finished unicorn look. Thank you guys so much for watching.